Hi, Warriors. This is attorney Jalen Megahead, my legal warrior. And today we have a very special guest, Ruba Zinaid. Hi, Jalen. And hi, everybody. Thank you so much first for having me on your Legal Warrior channel. I'm really honored. And um, I am a life and success coach, certified NLP practitioner. And uh, I work with people to help them find the clarity, the roadmap, and the action plan to achieve happiness, ultra health, um, and success in all areas of their lives. I've worked in the past 10 years with hundreds of clients from different parts of the world. I live in San Diego, by the way, and um, I partner with them into um, equip them with result, a result-focused approach and strategies and techniques so they can move forward in their lives and create a purpose and passion and success into their lives. Okay, that sounds very fabulous. I know that with family law, a lot of individuals can certainly benefit from your services. And one of the things that I know that you do is success coaching. What is that? Well, success coaching is a powerful relationship between a client and a success coach. So, so they work together towards both betterment and transforming the quality of the client's life. Um, and it happens, of course, through dialogue, goal setting, accountability, and a framework of a proven to work techniques, tools, and strategies um, so they can move forward, improving and betterment the, the quality of life for the client. Uh, also, the success coach empowers and supports the client to take full responsibility for creating meaningful changes in their lives. Okay, that sounds fantastic. Something I could also use myself. <laughs> um, so what preparations does one need in order to have an efficient first session with you? Great. So usually we do start with um, what I call it a discovery call. Um, and this is usually complimentary. So I want to know where they are in their current uh, situation, where they are in their lives now, and where do they want to go, uh, or which area in their lives that's calling them to change or to improve. And then uh, we also go over what's standing in the way. So which challenges is, are preventing them from making that change. Uh, we also go over what is the reward of getting what they want or where, where they want to go or what they want to change or improve. What is that meaningful change that's going to happen in my life? What, what it would mean to me? How is it going to add to my life's value? So that's very important to go over the reward of getting where they want to be. And also, what is the cost? of staying where they are. And that's very important. And these are very clarifying questions that can help them understand where they are, where do they wanna go, and what it takes to get there. Um, so that's like the initial conversation. And then with the first session, usually we go into um, like almost about eight areas in their lives. We, it, it's called the Wheel of Life. It's a coaching tool. And it, inc it includes many areas in their lives, like family and friends, career, health, both physically, emotionally, and spiritual well-being, uh, personal growth, purpose, creativity, service, and under that could be leadership and community. And I have them like a grade each area in in those uh, specific areas that we mentioned and and you know other layers to it. And from like one to be completely dissatisfied to ten to be fully dissatisfied. And then I have them to like just give me a, a comprehension of what success or satisfaction or satisfaction feel uh, like for each area. 
and how do they at this time spend time in each area and on the other hand how would they, would they like to spend time in each area and then what would it make it a success of a score 10 mm -hmm. and how does that look and feel for them uh, so answering those questions again it adds a huge layer of a clarity to move forward and, and then creating an action plan by focus on certain areas that's calling the most um, improvement or change at this time. And then knowing that by making that, by making a progress in those three areas, they will indeed affect the other areas so much and they will improve as well. Have any of your clients been like, I want a tangible reward? Like that is what's important for them for all those eight areas in their life? So those rewards, they will happen from the internal work that they are willing to put into themselves, meaning um, some of the conversations, for example, I'll give you just examples from the conversations I have. Uh, someone is reaching out to... Um, they're lacking just genuine, genuine happiness or they're lacking sort of purpose in their lives. And the, when I asked about the reward, the reward was, it, so it kind of like opened their eyes up into, oh, I will have more meaningful relationships. I will get rid of my toxic relationships and this will open me up to have an actual genuine, meaningful relationship in the future um, so something like that it, it, it it's not necessarily like the the physical which it could be for example if it's a career goal or uh, something like that it's important to set those goals ahead of time and be clear on them be clear on those rewards that they are getting gotcha all right i like that so how does one know if coaching is better for him or her versus a therapy session? Great. So um, what I can uh, you know, tell them here is the difference between therapy and coaching. So for a therapist, uh, they do help their clients heal from uh, past emotional pains, um, psychologically challenged in a quantifiable way, managing mental illness, uh, in some cases, of course, not all the times, handling the why behind their thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, and moving their clients from dysfunction to function. Also, therapists, they do provide diagnosis, recommendations, and treatment plans. So for coaches, they help their clients with you know, I mentioned the why with the therapist. For coaches, they help their clients with the how into their, their, their next steps. So how can we move forward? Uh, there are lots of um, things that the coaches they work with uh, on the work on with their clients, uh, like creating mental clarity and self-awareness discover their own core values and help the client align with those core values um, thoughts and actions so they can um, take tangible steps into where they want to go also getting it clear on um, their limiting beliefs and creating and receiving breakthroughs in that area empowering the client to take full responsibility of their lives and their results and finding answers and solutions from within to create meaningful changes through guidance and active listening. Uh, also helping the client to see the opportunity in the challenge through, the prob through problem solving and flexibility techniques. Um, they help them with their inner con connectivity setting healthy boundaries with others, creating a clear vision of the future that compels the client forward, um, definitely continuing with inspiring, motivating, and holding the client accountable so they, they'll be able to achieve 
those um, desires, outcomes, and results. And there's something actually uh, I always say, Jalen, okay in life is not enough. And that goes in alignment with the human spirit. Just we're always, stagnation is dangerous for us as a human being, and we're always looking for progressing and what's next for us on the other side. So, so what is a coping method one can do at home during this crazy quarantine, especially if they have children? Absolutely. So it is so important, especially with families, with the children, to create a schedule. We know that there is no schools, um, you know, no play dates with the friends, no playgrounds, no parks. So it has its heaviest impact and toll on the children. And, and, and for families to just kind of like for some parents, they're working from home or they're not working. So creating a schedule is so important. Waking up time, you know, work time if it's for either the parents and schooling, because obviously there is online learning now for younger children and high schoolers and I believe, and also, um, you know, college students. So the learning is still there. So creating that schedule with the family, having a break um, to have like lunch together, you know, this is so like absent in regular days. So taking advantage of be, having this time together, but really fit it into a schedule so everybody is aware, not when lunchtime comes and no one is aware. So it, there is no meaning um, at that moment to be together or to get together. So creating that um, schedule will help a lot. But at the same time, really like being flexible and patient with the children. Uh, they are under lots of a pressure and, and some of them, they will be uh, able to express it and talk about it, but some of them, they won't. And th th there, come the, um, there comes the role of the, the, the parent. Um, you know, um, I have a client of mine, she is um, like, for example, setting a 9 a.m. every morning to work out with her daughter. She told me this time was never been possible, like never um, during the school year because she's at her job and her daughter is at her school. But like just having this and she was telling me how, how this had like, nourished her relationship with her daughter and it of course it's good for both of them um physically and emotionally as well so um you know going back to communicating uh also like with the flexibility all, having the schedule yes but also communicating and having flexibility with the children truly and actively listen to them mm -hmm. And children, they do listen, not only to what we say, but how we say it. So make sure that you assure them that no matter how out of control it looks now, or how long this challenge will last, eventually it will end and we will go back to our normal lives. So having this also being equipped with that truly listening, um, being patient, and um, assure them that is so important now. Mm -hmm. And so what are two takeaways that our viewers can walk away with today? And how can they connect with you? Sure, so uh, the first one is, um, you know, uh, when, when you ask me how is like the first time when you work with, with people, the first thing that they bring to the table or the first thing that we worked on is actually creating the clarity. So I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to be clear. So clarity is really key to making meaningful changes and creating success in all areas of um, our lives. So why not take time now uh, during this quarantine time to really reflect and self-assess and getting it clear into which areas of your life that's needing the most change or the most improvement. And number two is really taking action. 
And what does that look like? It means, and it looks like getting the support, the resources, the, um, the tools that you need to make this change happens. Otherwise, what you reflect upon or what you want to change stays into the wishful thinking and it doesn't move forward. Mm, I love that and I'm definitely going to be uh, implementing some of that into my week. Um, so tell me how our viewers can connect with you. Do you have a social media? Um, do you primarily connect with people through your cell phone, like text messages or what? Sure. So I, of course, I am on social media. So actually, my business page, uh, Robazinaid Life and Health Coaching. Um, also on Instagram, Robazinaid. Um, but also the best way to connect with me is through email. And this is where I offer the free consultations. So it's healthylivingwithruba at gmail.com. And also my website, by the way, it's also www.healthylivingwithruba.com. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time and giving us this very invaluable information. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for having me and thanks for everyone who's watching.